everyone, in today's video I'm gonna continue my exploration of Poland. After a really nice trip in the area of Lublin, which is eastern part of Poland, I decided to dive deeper in this part of country. In today's video it's time for a trip from Warsaw towards the central eastern part of the country, near the town of Siedlce. I've never been there before, so it is also something new for me. Uh, I would also very much like to visit the northeastern part of the country, around cities like Suwałki and Białystok in the future, but today I'm focusing on something else, so let's get to that. So, as I already mentioned, I started my trip from Warsaw, which is capital of Poland. Uh, my starting point for cycling at Siedlce is located 95 kilometers from Warsaw. Um, so this time I decided that I will go there by train and I will also use this opportunity to show you in details uh, how process of booking tickets for train uh, with bike looks like. To begin with the reservation process, first you have to open the website. I will uh, paste the link uh, in the description. For foreigners, there is English version of the site available, so you can just switch it. Uh, then you have to uh, paste the details from which station you want to go to which station. In this case, it is from uh, Warsaw, Warszawa to Siedlce. Then you can select date and time uh, for your train and there is important to check this carriage of bicycle required. By clicking this checkbox you will only see trains that have the option of carrying bicycles. Here you can see the list of uh, results um, of your search. Uh, so you can just uh, expand to see more details, uh, what is exactly the train, how many kilometers there are, what is the standard of the train? So all the details you can see here. So let's say this is uh, okay for you and you want to buy the ticket. So you have to just press that buy ticket button. Then new page is uh, opened and you can select other details. If you want to buy a ticket for the first or the second class. And then you can also select how many tickets you need from 1 to 6. Here you can also select a ticket with some discounts, but it is um, like for, for example, blind persons, uh, students, etc., something like that. I don't think that you will need it at all. So here uh, there is a tricky part because you cannot select here that you travel uh, with bike. Uh, but what do you have to do? Uh, you have to select uh, from um, this menu uh, the seat uh, which is marked with that uh, bicycle icon. If it is grey it means that it is already occupied. Um, so you have to find a place uh, which is marked with a green color and have that uh, bike icon. So as you can see here there is a, a seat that you can uh, choose. And yeah, that's exactly how it looked like. So you can also see here where is the place where uh, your bike will be located. So just press uh, this um, seat if uh, it is okay for you. Uh, there is information, this is a place for person with a bicycle, yes. Uh, all the rules you can find in the link there. So. Uh, if you are interested you can check it but then you click confirm uh, so you are uh, now redirected to the next page uh, so there is uh, the summary of your ticket that what is the number of the seat um, you have to put your name and surname here uh, and you can see also that um, ticket includes a fee for bike and at the very end you see the total amount that you have to pay. After uh, clicking this button you are redirected to the next page where you have to either register login or uh, buy ticket without registration. Uh, so that is what I am showing you currently. You have to put your name, surname and your email address. 
then you have to accept the train's terms and conditions and regulations and um, yeah then you have to commit it and that is the summary of your ticket then you can select payment method there are three available first is a transfer second is the credit card and third it is a bleak technology that is popular in poland but i know in, not in many different countries so uh, after clicking that i will pay by card i'm redirected to the um, to the page where you have to provide your name surname card number all the details uh, like you usually provide when buying something online if your payment was successful you will receive your ticket information and a pdf attachment to the email you provided within a few minutes so that is how the example of such ticket looks like most important is qr code then information that you travel with bike uh, the station of the departure and arrival, the time uh, estimated for uh, this journey, the date, what is the train number, what is the class of uh, your uh, vegan, uh, what is your place and where it is uh, located. Uh, so if uh, there will be a ticket control, uh, what you have to do is to show that QR code and your ID, your ID or passport or other document. And yeah, that is how reservation process looks like. And if we have tickets, we can start the journey. The closest metro station to the Warsaw Central train station is called Metro ONZ. I had left my bike in the shopping center's bike garage in the station building, so I picked it up on the way to the platform. Unfortunately, there is no metro station directly connecting the station to the metro, which is quite uncomfortable. I came a little early, so I had to wait. I got on and drove to my destination. The train station in Siedlce is the starting point for the road, uh, so first I had to escape the city. Right from the start the road was in excellent condition, almost no cars and a lot of nature. It was pure pleasure to drive along an empty, well-maintained road among forests and fields in such a beautiful weather, seriously. From time to time the road also passed through villages and smaller towns. A small reminder here that beautiful summer weather means that you have to remember about sunscreen and extra amount of water. As you can see this road is really lovely. In addition to the natural landscape you can also see old buildings and sacred buildings. I also practice the skills of recording myself. That is one of the downsides of doing solo trips. There is no one to record a video of you. But it doesn't really matter as long as you are not planning to become a cycling vlogger.
you could say that not much changes here, only forest field, forest field. But sometimes it is this kind of boredom that allows you to calm down and really relax. After making 50 kilometers, I've decided that it is a good time to uh, refresh a bit and make a short break. Uh, and I found a really nice place uh, which I can recommend you. It is called in Polish Stara Kuźnia, in English it would be Old Forge. So renovated all building and polas, uh, which is also somehow prepared for cyclists. As you can see, there is a station when you can make some basic repair, where there is a bench, you can rest. Uh, there is also a um, possibility uh, to repair your flat tire here, so it is really well organized. Some basic tools are also there, so in case something went wrong with your bike, you can uh, just make it right here. Uh, but there is also a nice uh, hotel place and a restaurant. I visited this place to have a cup of good coffee. Uh, it was a really nice interior inside uh, with old-fashioned decoration. Uh, also, it was empty, but maybe it was due to the fact that it was only 12, uh, so maybe that was the reason why. Also, you can see the menu here, so there are some salad, soups, uh, main dishes, uh, some drinks, so you won't be disappointed. Also, there is not only place inside, but also outside. The hotel itself offers a bike rental service. So after a short break, I was back to cycling. This is proof that road was not all asphalt, there were also some gravel type segments. But the gravel sections were in much worse condition than the asphalt roads. a beautiful natural landscape. summer season watch out on roads that are less busy outside the city for agricultural machinery they are often so large that they take up the entire width of the road so just be careful here for example you can see a field of black currants there are also fields of strawberries and the smell from both of them is just amazing.
And the last place before heading back to Siedlce is Mordy, which can be a funny name for Polish people. Towards the end of the road the surface quality got a little worse, but it wasn't tragic. Returning to urban areas, it was necessary to ride on the cycle path. Primarily for my own safety, the road running alongside the cycle path was very busy. And yeah, I reached the railway station in Siedlce from where the train to Warsaw was leaving. It was a really cool trip, the surroundings were very nice, lots of natural landscapes gave me a chance to relax. It is an interesting option for those looking for roads around Warsaw. Using the train connection it is really easy to organize such a short trip. So thank you for watching this video, if you like it please click that like button and subscribe and see you in the next video.